First question is from Omar Martinez08. Can you guys go over nootropics and your personal experiences with them? You've probably had the most, Sal, right? Yeah. I, and he's tried them all. Well, I've For, given you guys a bunch too. Yeah, no, I've tried a lot. And yeah. honestly, consistently, nothing beats pure for me yeah oh i mean yeah. I, the way i feel from that it's my favorite the other ones hit and miss might get a headache might feel a spike then come down mm -hmm. i like i have I not th i think like because they use like artificial ingredients i think yeah some of the ones that i've had before like i think yeah i mean okay to be clear um just like this is like when people ask us fitness questions what's the best supplement for yeah it? whatever nothing's going to come close to good diet, good sleep, you know, stress. sleep, by the way, is huge. Like whenever I would have clients who had issues with cognitive performance, uh, nine out of 10 times, it was either they weren't getting enough sleep or they had crappy sleep. Or even like over consuming like carbohydrates, like being just overloaded with calories. Right. Or diet or whatever. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. And they show that exercise makes a big difference with cognitive performance, especially resistance training. In fact, uh, there was a study done out of Sydney, Australia that showed that Resistance training is the only form of exercise that seems to prevent or halt the progression of dementia or Alzheimer's, um, probably because it increases insulin sensitivity. And, and, and that's part of maybe they think one of the reasons why our cognitive function declines is our, our ability to utilize insulin uh, starts to get you know poor or whatever. Mm -hmm. So those things are the most effective. But okay, as far as supplements are concerned, uh, creatine has been shown to boost uh, cognitive function. Right. Then you have the class of drugs called racetems. Yes. These are these, and these are these are actual synthetic. These are the ones I don't like. That's the synthetic was the word. I was yeah, there's like paracet paracetam and aracetam, and there's lots of others. Mm -hmm. And I've tried them, and what they seem to do for me is almost give me like a stimulatory effect. Don't know if I get a cognitive boost. Like I feel like you know I could definitely take things that'll increase my wakefulness. Like caffeine will do that. Mm -hmm. But does that mean I'm actually thinking sharper than I would if I was already kind of awake? Does that make sense? So mm. it, it makes me think sharper mainly because I'm not feeling as tired. But let's say I wasn't tired, everything was fine. Would it improve my cognitive performance? And studies show that no. Like, for example, Adderall, right? They do studies on Adderall and people report that they feel smarter, but they actually do tests and they find you don't. Mm -hmm. You just like you what you're doing you, more. You're smarter. Yeah, you think you're smarter. <laughs> yeah. um, so I don't know. It's very interesting. But the one that seems to be the most consistent, I'm with you, is the pure. Um, all the race attempts, they make me, they can make me feel kind of crappy sometimes, or yeah, when I get I, headaches from that, or class. when I come down, mm -hmm. I don't feel good. Yeah. Um, pure is one that I take regularly. We take it before we podcast. And now, is that because the reason why we probably feel that way is because everything in it's all natural? Is that what it is? That natural. It's not super hyper strong. Um, it's got lion's mane in there. It's got some other compounds in there that help. It's also got some gut health. Uh, yeah. And you it's know, actually a nice compliment to caffeine, which obviously you guys know I'm pretty much addicted to. But um, it, it's one of those things like I can, I can get, I feel sharper, and, and it, it really is uh, the like the effect of it is only when I'm super consistent with it. So it'll take like a few times, and then like I feel like it really starts to uh, kick in, like maybe the fifth or sixth time that I'm like using it, and then I'm like you know on fire. Yeah. Another thing, another thing that seems to help some people is to do a ketogenic diet. So some people will report that when their body is running on ketones that they feel sharper or they're able to think faster. Mm -hmm. I'm like that. So you guys know that I do, I go on a ketogenic diet, you know, maybe twice a year and I do it specifically for that. I'll go on it because I want to, I want to get those, those mental benefits. I don't like the performance benefits. I tend to lose strength on them or whatever. But when I, when I do do it, I do notice that I get uh, a little sharper in the way I think. I, I, mean, I notice the same thing, but I, I actually don't have to be on the keto diet. You can just fast. Mm -hmm. So I feel the same benefits by it. Sure. So there's something that like, if I have to do, a lot of times when I have an interview, like on another show in the morning or whatever, You're I won't. Fast. Yeah, I stay fasted and I just, I feel way, way sharper than if I were to go eat like a 600 calorie yeah. breakfast. This is a, this is a booming uh, segment of the supplement oh, yeah, industry. Yeah. I remember when we first so started the money. podcast, how I would bring it up and it was kind of this new thing. Yeah. I remember how we would speculate and I'd be like, you know, I bet you this is going to be a yeah. huge part of the supplement industry. Where did it, it start? Because I feel like it, it was, was it was in Navy uh, SEALs. Yeah, right? Navy SEALs are like, yeah, like fighter pilots. Like I feel like that was like Do you know Sal? promoted. Well, they would take first. Uh, drugs. So they would take amphetamines or modafinil. Yeah, modafinil was That's the fighter one. pilots. But yeah. there's, yes. I thought the SEALs were the ones that were using racetim and all those. And I don't know. know. I know that their, think, yeah. their prescription in Russia, I believe in Europe uh, uh, as well. 
um, but they're mixed because I've given all. Okay, so here's the deal, and the audience knows this. We've talked about this. I love experimenting with supplements, and I love experimenting with you guys with supplements. <laughs> often, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to see what happens to Adam. Yeah, oftentimes Here. I'll, I'll get we'll get something sent to us, and then I'll hand and you guys trust me, which is wonderful. Um, I'll, I'll just say, hey, try this. Yeah. We're losing that so trust, far. by the way. Yeah. I, well, <laughs> come on, <laughs> a few misses. At <laughs> least seventy percent of the time, it's all good. Uh, okay. Is that thirty percent? Give you seventy percent. Could you Google Magic the origin of that? Uh, what what like or, nootropics? Yeah, origin of nootropics. Yeah, I think even the term nootropic was. Uh, Mm. I believe was a new one. I think yeah. they, they they came out with that like not even that many decades ago. What was it ago. before? There wasn't one. There wasn't a term nootropic. Oh. Uh, yeah. So I think it's it was like maybe in the 70s or 60s. I'm, I might be wrong. Let's see if Doug finds it. Oh, there you go. 1972. 70. Isn't that weird how I remember weird shit like that? Mm -hmm. You could literally ask me uh, like where yeah, we- 1972. Where we keep the teaspoons in my house and I'll be like, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. like, Jessica gets- That's how I am with commercial jingles. So whatever. Yeah. yeah. But um, but yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exploding segment of the supplement industry and I predict it to continue to explode, especially as- the aging population continues to become more interested in taking supplements. And as we start to, uh, you know, idolize people in tech, like, you know, 30 years ago, really smart people were not idolized today. Like that's because tech is running the world. Now it's like this big thing. And so everybody's interested in making themselves smarter or whatever. So it's this exploding segment, but yeah, so far consistently from what I've given you guys, mm -hmm. Some stuff gives you headaches. Some stuff makes you crash. I remember one time I gave Adam something, and then an hour later he's like, he was done. He had to go yeah, home or it whatever. Was awful. Yeah, but uh, but but the pure consistently is it, is is biohacking still a thing? I haven't. Of course, I, I haven't seen like you know how it was. It was pretty much in a lot of magazines. It was it oh, was like still, the, the, the thing. So it's still going strong. Oh hell yeah. Okay hell yeah. Is, I haven't seen much from it. Is, does psilocybin fall under this category? Would it be considered? You know what's funny? Microdosing. Yeah, probably. microdosing. I, they haven't put them in that nootropic category, but they are finding that people get like positive mood effects from some of the stuff. Uh, and this is anecdotal. There's not a lot of studies yet to support it. Um, and it's kind of getting popular here in, in Silicon Valley. In fact, there was a guy that was fired recently. It's CEO. very popular. It's stealing fire. The whole book is all about that. Yeah. There was yeah. a CEO literally who got fired for microdosing uh, oh, LSD. I what? Maybe that. Doug can How'd pull it up. How'd you not bring that up? I forgot. But Doug, was it look recent? Up, look up CEO fired for microdosing and it should come up. Oh, wow. And it was a tech CEO. Here, huh? I think he was here in the wow, Bay Area. How did, how did no one bring this up? I, I That's interesting. Know. Yeah, I don't and know. And was, was it relatively recent or what? Yes, it was not that. It was. Uh, so who is it, Doug? Does it say? Yeah, Justin Zhu of Iterable Inc. Dismissed as CEO. Mm, because he microdosed LSD at work. Mm -hmm. Wow. He told everybody. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was going to say, it's like one of those things. First rule of Fight Club, dude. dude. It's like that yeah. time. Is that, that like the early days, Adam, when we, uh, we yeah. pod, did that <laughs> podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. and we, we, we thought we were microdosing? <laughs> Whoops! It, it was a it was more of a macro dose. Yeah, 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 that was not a good idea. No, for sure. Wow, that's crazy.